Hello everybody, <laughs> welcome back for another video. Hope you're all doing well and that you're all having a great day. As always, a free way to support the channel is by leaving a like, by leaving a comment, by leaving multiple comments. If you have something in your heart that you need to let out, let it out in the comment section or by subscribing if you have not already done so. Please understand that this is not investment advice. I am simply a person in a room talking into a camera Telling you the stuff that's going on in my head, uh, please do not ever put more money into anything than you can afford to lose. That is quite dangerous. Simply do not do it. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. Uh, this video is going to be about um, what I'm currently investing in slash what I am currently bullish on. Please once again understand these are my thoughts and my investments just to have to throw it out there. So, um, for those of you who are not in the know, there is a, um, a platform, an app, soon to be a website called VV. It is V E V E, and they make NFTs. Um, I have been buying their NFTs for, I want to say, a good four, five, six months. Uh, I've made a good amount of profit. They are, one of the reasons why I'm so bullish on them is because they have actual partnerships with major brands. You may have seen before that a lot of other companies, a lot of other things are basically trying to look for these like partnerships and none of them really catch on. Vivi is officially partnered with Disney, Marvel, DC, uh, Cartoon Network, you kind of name it. They have an entire list on the, on the app as well. Uh, they have a rapidly fast growing user base. A lot of the NFTs, if not all of them, and I dare say 99% of them that they release uh, usually has immediate profit. A lot of people, in my opinion, make the mistake of going onto these platforms, uh, buying something for 50, trying to resell it for 250, and then kind of bragging about it. Um, if you've held on to any of your VV investments, you will know a lot of times something that you bought for seven may now be worth 350. If you paid 55 for it, it may be worth 1,200. I think that this has an incredible amount of longevity, um, not only in the actual art market, but in the actual NFT metaverse market, as they're also going to be making their own uh, metaverse as well. They also have their own cryptocurrency. It is called OMI, O-M-I. It's quite popular. It doesn't, it's not the most expensive coin at the moment and there are a lot of speculation. Keep that word in mind, speculation, that the coin could potentially eventually go to 10 cents, 50 cents, and maybe even a dollar. There's also news that you'll be able to use their digital currency to be able to buy land, and also the NFTs as well that are from Disney, Marvel, and DC. So you kind of get the idea. When I mentioned before that I've been collecting or uh, uh, amassing a lot of NFTs, a huge portion of it actually comes from Vivi. I think another reason why this will do extremely well and why usually on a weekly, if not other daily basis, I'm buying more NFTs on Vivi and why I'm so bullish on them. The entire discussion of uh, crypto emissions, you may have heard of this. Bitcoin is currently using a uh, proof of work system wherein you need thousands of computers stacked on top of each other uh, to be able to create new Bitcoin. Many other blockchains have currently moved to something called POS, proof of stake. Ethereum is doing this and many other blockchains such as Vivi are also doing the exact same thing where basically these are going to be Carbon neutral, they, if they are releasing emissions, there's something else that's done to make sure that the emissions kind of basically level out so that nothing new, if you will, is put into the world. A lot of people, this is an entirely separate point, um, a lot of people do not like NFTs because NFTs have a large amount of electrical emissions, what have you, so on and so forth. Uh, this was the, not to say that this is the entire market now, but a large part of the market before uh, was this way, yes. We know this, and this is why a large part of the NFT platforms, especially OpenSea and Rarible, have moved over to blockchains or have left Ethereum to make sure that what they're on is 100% carbon neutral and doesn't have any extra emissions out there. Uh, this is one why I believe it's going to do very well in the future as more people 
actually do research and figure out these things. The second point being is that a lot of times, if you've ever looked on Twitter or any other place, whenever a company has announced that they are going to be launching, releasing, having NFTs, there's a lot of hate that gets thrown their way. And it's because people don't realize that these are actual carbon neutral uh, platforms. If you go look on Vivi, they explain all the things as well, exactly what they're doing. Other platforms do the exact same thing. Um, but the problem that I personally always have with it is that these people who are complaining that NFTs are destroying the world, et cetera, et cetera, they drive gigantic cars. They sometimes have two cars. They are usually taking planes to Florida for a weekend so they can go sit by the beach and go on Instagram. And, and you know, just uh, choose your battles because a lot of times these people, have you ever seen the, the, the videos years ago? There was a, a, um, a demonstration as the word is. Uh, people were outside uh, basically talking about down with capitalism, you know, hate capitalism. And when you look at the actual photos and the videos of the people walking by, they're all holding iPhones and they're wearing Nike shoes and they're sometimes holding Louis Vuitton bags. You can't say these things, especially if you don't understand exactly what you're talking about. So if you happen to have anyone who you know who doesn't like the NFT space, try to get them to understand that they're moving to make sure that there are no extra emissions because they also understand that this is a problem. Next point, the... NFTs on VV, now this is another one of my you know, crazy opinions, are incredibly undervalued. One of my favorite things to buy on VV, I love comic books. I've been collecting them since I was a little kid because of my uncle. I have tons of comic books. I still collect physical ones because it's just what I do. A lot of the comic books that have come out on VV, now here's a, I mean, this is a gigantic secret. If you are hearing this, maybe keep this information for yourself. I am not actually joking. The comic books that are on Vivi are so undervalued. When I talk to other comic book collectors, we kind of sit there and laugh. The values of these things are literally around one one thousandth in some cases of what the actual physical copies are worth. If you saw my other video before where I discussed the actual degradation of physical comics and the idea that you know a lot of comics from the 40s and 50s these things crumble. These things are uh, you know, yellow and cream colored pages. They're not going to last for another 100 years unless you like encapsulate them in some sort of way. The NFTs on Vivi, they don't rust. They don't old. They don't age. They'll be around for the next 1000 years, even after we're long gone. They'll still be on a blockchain or whatever new futuristic thing that we have at that time. The accumulation that I've been doing for certain comics, I won't tell you all of them, I may tell you two of them, um, has paid off quite well. There are very big differences between the comics that are actually on VV um, in that some of them are absolute garbage and some of them are blue chip. Um, you can even, and I, and I don't even have to really tell you an entire list, you can kind of find this out for yourself and this is why you may realize that some comics are, you know, they sell for $6.99 and they're maybe now selling for $15. Others sell for originally $6.99 and now they're selling for $210, $85. There's a very big difference. Pay attention to what sells very well in the physical world and everything else um, I, myself, simply um, ignore. I will give you a very big hint, and I am not joking. Um, look into the comic book if you decide to venture into Vivi for the comic book Ultimate Fallout 4. People in the comic book world, your ears have just perked up. Why? Because you understand Ultimate Fallout 4 is the first appearance of the character Miles Morales. Surprise, Miles Morales is currently Spider-Man in the comic books, and he is going to be the Spider-Man in the actual Marvel Universe at some point as well. You may have noticed if you're on VV why the uh, amount that are for sale continues to drop quite rapidly is because me and other people who collect comics understand the, the common version, sorry for the, 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 the segue or the, the side note, the long side note, the common version is the actual normal cover for the comic book. This sells anywhere from five to $3,000 if it's graded inside of like that hard plastic shell. The secret rare cover on uh, VV is actually the variant cover that is, we, we call it in, in the comic book industry, a ghost. You can't find it. And if you do find it, it's incredibly expensive. 
Uh, these are going for just about five figures. So the numbers on VV usually don't make any sense, especially when the digital ones will far outlast them. Um, that's what I'm currently hyper investing in every week. Normally over the course of a week, I'm still buying crypto and a couple of other things, but this has been one of my like consistent what I'm buying, what I'm hyper bullish on for a very long time. I personally was gonna make a video on this a while ago, but I wanted to make sure that tons of other people got into the market themselves because I necessarily don't wanna be the person who is convincing other people to really get into the market, if that makes any sense. I want people to discover it themselves, to kind of wade around in the pool, and then, you know, it kind of goes from there. Um, this is by far, by far, one of my riskiest investments. It's even riskier than the actual cryptocurrency space. There is not one person who knows where this market is going to be in five, 10 years. No one knows where the NFT market is going to go. We have a pretty good inkling, a pretty good idea of how big NFTs could become, how big the metaverse could potentially be in five to 10 years if it ends up looking like Ready Player One, but no one actually knows. So this is probably my most speculative investment, even more once again, than actual crypto, um, but in my eyes, it is extremely high risk for extremely high reward. There are people who have gone on to Vivi, not investment advice, who have purchased an item for six, seven dollars and it's currently worth around 40,000. So, you know, that's kind of the idea. Do not ever, do not ever put more money into any market than you can afford to lose. I know this sounds ridiculous, I know it sounds cheesy, and I know you're probably even tired of hearing it, but if you want a lesson, uh, watch videos from the end of 2017, the beginning of 2018, for people who put their money into cryptocurrencies that are no longer around. There's a really famous one of a guy, I'm sorry if you're watching this dude, uh, sitting in his car and crying, because he was like, how do I tell my wife that I just lost $50,000? If you happen, to have extra money that you could use, an extra 20 or 30, that if you lost that and it went to zero tomorrow, you would not be sitting in your car crying. This might be the uh, side hustle, I don't know, thing for you. Yeah, I'm very bullish on Vivi. I'm gonna continue collecting them for as long as I, I mean, you, you can't give me a digital version of a comic that I know is really big in the real world and not expect me to buy it. It just doesn't make any sense. I do hope you all enjoyed. I do hope that you all are having a great day, a great morning, a great afternoon, a great evening. There we go. Wherever you are, wherever you might be, I do hope that it is absolutely fantastic. Thank you all once again for watching, listening, and supporting, and I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you.